everyone, it's me Sarah Mem, and today I'm gonna talk to you about the types of correcting errors for your students. A lot of teachers are asking, um, am I supposed to correct on the spot or should I leave the student till the end of the class? Actually, for answering this question, it needs to know how your relationship goes with your students. Is it an easygoing relationship? Do you build a strong relationship with your students that allows you to interrupt them or to stop them and correct on the spot or no? And also, it depends on the age of the students as well. If they are grown up enough, you may uh, make this later but by the end of their discussion or by the end of their speaking class to correct their mistakes. But if they are small and little, you need to correct on the spot, but using some steps that I'm going to talk about right now. For my little students, if they do any mistake while speaking, I may use gestures, I may use my hands, I may um, grab their attention that they did a mistake without actually stopping them or interrupting them or interrupting their flow of speech. How can I do this? For example, if, if one of my students is saying that yesterday I play football, I may use my hands in this point by saying, yesterday I, so he would know that it is I played, it's not I play. One of my students once said, we study always grammar. While she's talking, I didn't actually interrupt her, but I grabbed her attention that she did a mistake by using my hand gestures. We always study grammar it's not what we study always grammar so just by using your hands you may grab your students attention to a mistake they have done another type of correcting errors is the peer correction uh, it actually saves the time of the teacher and it allows the students to get in touch and contact with each other and to build a stronger relationship if your students are uh, good enough and they are grown up, you may use peer correction, especially in correcting dictation or in correcting homework by showing the model answer on the board and letting them correct for each other. They enjoy doing it and uh, it enhances their leadership abilities as well and skills um, and it shows to you how uh, leaders they are. It, you may discover a lot of inner abilities in them while giving them a task that makes them in the shoe of the teacher. It's also amazing. I uh, urge all of you to try it out with your students. You may also give the time for other students to correct their friend. If one of your students did a mistake in front of the class, you may give the chance of others to correct him by doing a body uh, sign or by doing a, get a gesture that shows them their friend did something wrong. For example, one of my friends or one of my students once said, my dad is a strong smoker. So I told her, your dad is a strong smoker? Do we say a strong smokers? So the rest of the class said no. So actually, once I did this gesture of showing that the word strong is wrong, we do not say strong smoker. So the other peers or the other friends told her that we say, my dad is a heavy smoker, not a strong smoker. That was all for today. Thank you for watching the video and wait for more. Bye bye.